If you think that Morgan Wallen losing out to Laney Wilson at last year's CMA Awards was controversial, then you need to see what happened back in 1975. What you are seeing now is just the second most controversial moment of the night. My friend, Mr. John Denver. There was an even bigger scandal that happened. Just that it's not as common knowledge as Charlie Rich's antics as it happened backstage. So what exactly was more controversial than a drunk Charlie Rich, winner of Entertainer of the Year a year before? On stage to announce the winner for 1975 in a drunken state, and then setting fire to John Denver's winning slip on live television. Well, it was another winner of the night, Waylon Jennings, who won the Male Vocalist of the Year. He accepted his award with possibly one of the shortest acceptance speeches ever. They told me to be nice. I don't know what they meant by that. Thank you. Waylon hated every second of his three-second long speech, and he detailed out the reasons for it in his autobiography. It was known to everyone that Waylon wasn't a big fan of the CMA. And the only reason he went in 1975 was because his wife, Jessie, was up for numerous awards that year. When he walked in, the CMA officials were suspicious and greeted him by asking, you are not here to start any trouble, are you? He had a history with CMA. Then back in 1970, he was scheduled to perform his hit song, uh, Only Daddy That'll Walk the Line, during the CMA Awards. Uh, unfortunately, um, the organizers ran out of time because the show lasted longer than expected. As a result, they asked Waylon to cut his performance short by singing only a verse and a chorus. Waylon never trusted CMA and thought of them to be a television show, a business, and not a respected award show honoring country music. Waylon wrote, Now they needed me again because I was up for Best Male Vocalist, Song of the Year, Album of the Year, and Entertainer of the Year. Uh, as I walked in with Jesse scratching at my tuxedo, Neil came over to me and said, you won male vocalist, and Jesse didn't win anything. What shocked Waylon was that the results were out when it's supposed to be a secret, till the time the envelope is opened. He wanted to leave, as he had anyway come for his wife who was not on the winner's list. But he decided to stay back, hoping that by doing so, he might be able to raise the larger problems that face country music. In his own words, he tried to be nice in his acceptance speech and just wanted to get out of there at the earliest. And in his book, he wrote about the voting process and how the decisions are influenced. Uh, I knew that block voting and mass trading between the big companies uh, will give you 200 votes for your artist if you give your 400 votes to our writer probably had more to do with it than anything else. Waylon did admit that because he stayed back. He was happy to witness CMA officials trying to grab Charlie Rich, but deciding to stay out of his way. Uh, and here we thought that Morgan Wallen losing out on an award to Laney Wilson was controversial. Uh, please do like and subscribe for your daily dose of country.